Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're going to be talking about selling your product to Sally Beauty Supply. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be on their store shelves or on their website, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to selling to Sally Beauty. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So let's talk about Sally Beauty. They have over 3,700 stores they're responsible for in 12 countries. That's massive buying power. Now, most people think of retailers of that magnitude with a Walmart and so forth, but you don't usually think about it with a smaller beauty product chain, right? So that's pretty amazing. They have stores in the United States and Puerto Rico. They also have Canada, Mexico, Peru, the UK, Belgium, Chile, France, Ireland, the Netherlands, Spain and Germany. They're obviously amazing at what they do and they sell hair color products, hair care products, skin and nail stuff, beauty products essentially. If you have a consumer products brand that's perfect for a beauty category, this retailer is awesome. Here's a few things to note about selling to them. Number one is because they are so massive, and they're also in different countries, there's several opportunities to consider. First of all, there's small stores, and what that means is they don't have as much room to fit products in. That's a problem for uh, people like you who are trying to sell to them because that means that they're very particular about what they put in stores. So a suggestion is to go walk their stores and take a look at what kind of products are in there, does it really make sense and they're probably going to be a little harder on you in regards to whether or not they pick up your product or not. So don't take it personally if they say no to you initially. There are many workarounds to that, but it's just because they have smaller stores and so they get to say no a lot. But on the other hand, if you do get an order from them, it can be many millions of dollars to your products. And just be aware of that. Don't feel bad if initially they might reject you doesn't mean that you don't have a wonderful product. So that's going to require you to do more reviews of stores and understanding what really matters to them and so forth. The other thing to think about is that if a, a person wants to sell to them, can you sell internationally? So the typical way it works with chain stores is if they have international presence, they usually have buyers in every different country. So there's buyers in the U.S., there's buyers, say, in the U.K., and so forth. A lot of times they can't contain it in one location, and they're looking for different things because they need to understand their audience. So the cool part is that there's a lot of opportunity for you. So say you go after the U.S. market, and they reject you, but maybe you go after the U.K. market, and the buyer accepts you, then you can go back to the ones in the United States and try and get your product in there and so forth. You can do that for Canada. But again, that's going to require you to understand... Um, price points and certain things. Obviously, if you're trying to sell to, say, Canada, a lot of times they care about French, right? So there's certain locations that obviously have different languages, which require some packaging changes and so forth. Can you handle that? Some of you have no problem with that. Some of you are going to have some issues. Again, the cool part about selling to chain stores is there's not just one way to sell to them, and it's actually not as hard as you think. But really, you do need to just choose what can handle the price points and so forth. The final thing I'll mention is they have a lot of private label brands, which means that they sell it under the Sally Beauty brand name. And the reason that matters is because if you want to sell to them and you really care about your name all over the packaging, then if they ask you about private label or company owned and you say no, that's okay. It's okay for you to say no. However, one thing to consider is that if you try to sell to them, again, with your brand and product and they're rejecting you and they're saying, the only way I'll work with you is private label, you might want to consider it only if it makes sense for you, but also because you don't have to sell your product to every retailer the exact same way. So Sally Beauty might only buy your product under their brand name for your particular product category and someone else might do something different. And the reason it matters is people have made millions upon millions of dollars doing company owned private label branded options with chain stores versus selling their branded products to them directly. My point is if you're really needing extra cash and the buyer's giving you a hard time and they're not letting you sell your branded products to them, if you really are willing to, maybe you can work a deal with them to do it privately owned 
which means your name's not on that packaging, but it's only for Sally Beauty. And you can still go after the other chain stores that are great for beauty products in a different way. So you don't have to sell to each retailer the same way. One retailer, you can sell your branded product to them. The other one, you can sell private label. So those are some things to think about in regards to Sally Beauty. They have tremendous opportunities for you. If you want to learn how to actually approach, pitch, and sell to Sally Beauty, uh, please take a look at our website, retailmba.com. You can also take a look at the links below. We have free webinar trainings explaining how to pitch retailers. And we also have more of advanced programs on how to talk to buyers and how to get them to buy, how to work with reps and so forth, how to sell to their online buyers versus their physical store buyers, and how to work private label versus brand and products. We explain all of that in our coaching and training systems, but we do have a lot of free stuff on our site and we're always putting out new content. If this helped, please uh, take a look at the additional stuff we create. Subscribe, keep in touch with us. Karen Wax and Retail MBA. I hope this helped. Thanks so much.